In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this super easy eye makeup look. It only takes a few steps to complete this look, so it's perfect for beginners. So let's get started. Let's go through the products you'll need to recreate this look. For a base, I am using Painterly Paint Pop by MAC. This is a great base for creating a blank canvas and giving our eyeshadow something to hold on to. We're going to be applying three different shades, a light, medium, and dark. Our lightest shade is this one by Issa Laron. It is number three, Satin Crush. Next, I have the Up Cosmetics 5 Second Eyes in the shade Smoky Bronze. This will be our medium shade. And the shade Brownie as our darkest shade. And these are perfect for creating a super easy look. For my matte mid-tone, I'm using an Essence Eyebrow Shadow. This is perfect for creating some depth in the crease. Your mid-tone should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone, and at least one shade lighter than your contour shade. I also wanted to add a touch of sparkle at the end, so I'm using the Power Chrome Loose Eyeshadow Pigment by NARS in Shockham. And for brushes, I'm using Blank Chemist Cosmetics One Step Eye Brush Set. This has everything that I need. So starting off with our base, we're going to apply this all over the lid. This is going to give our eyeshadow something to hold on to, as well as creating a blank canvas for us to work on. That's going to help the eyeshadows pop a little bit more. Once we have our base on our lid, we can then move on to our shadows. The first shadow that I'm going to take is that mid-tone, and I'm going to be applying this with a fluffy brush, so grab your favorite blending brush. This is going to be applied into the crease of the eye and then slowly blended upwards. This adds some framing to the eye shape. A nice little trick is to keep your eyes open when you're applying this. This will just make sure that you're blending above the lid and creating the right shape for your eye space. The depth of the color should be right at that crease and then very softly blended upwards towards the brows. We're going to start off with our lightest shade and we're going to be applying this with a small brush. I'm using a pencil brush. I like to start by applying just a small amount underneath the brows. Make sure you don't bring this down too far. You're keeping it quite tight underneath the brows. And then we're going to focus this on the inner third of the lid. So starting on that inner corner, bringing it to about the halfway point and stopping just there. The majority of the pigment should be on that inner third. And then make sure you repeat this on the other side before you move on. Next, we're sticking to that same brush and we're going to take our next eyeshadow. This is going to be applied beside that one right in the center and blending outwards. So covering the middle third of the lid. So start in the middle and blend inwards and outwards. You want to make sure you don't bring this up past the lid point. Keep this to just the lid, not into the crease. Make sure you repeat this on the other side before you move on. And then we're going to take our final eyeshadow. This is our darkest shade. We're going to stick to that same brush again. We're going to cover the outer third, so the final third of the lid. Again, try not to bring this up too high. Now if you want to add some more structure to the eye, you can bring this brush down underneath and then sweep it upwards. This will create kind of a soft winged effect and then kind of buff and blend it into the eye shape. It adds more of a lifted look. I always like to go over with my blending brush just on that outer edge so we don't have any harsh lines. I then finished off with just a little bit of that loose pigment on that inner corner. This is totally optional. I absolutely love this shade, so any chance I get to use it, I will. And that is the finished look. I added some mascara and lashes, and there you go. A super easy look. I would love for you guys to try it out. If you do, definitely let me know. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself. You're doing the best you can. Be kind to others and I will see you in the next one.